Good morning and welcome to Emirates Graphic Academy. My name is Sasha Christie and as we previously mentioned, I will be taking care of sales and entrepreneurship every other week on Tuesday. So to start today, I've decided to choose a topic that is really important to me, which is how to live the best impression during the first meeting. Because as you know, when you start a business, or when you're planning on growing your business, you'll be investing a lot on lead generation to acquire leads or potential clients. And eventually these potential clients, you have to meet them. Whether you want to sell them a service or you want to sell them a product, you have to meet them. So when you meet them for the first time, how do you leave the best impression? So we'll be discussing and covering six ways or six things that are very important in order to leave a good impression with your potential customer. The first one is obviously to always be on time. Being on time is very important in business. You don't want to be the guy that shows up to a meeting five minutes late, 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late, whatever it is. You don't want to get to a point where you show up to a meeting and you have to justify yourself with an excuse because this is a killer in business. In fact, always be early. If you live in a busy city, uh, which is full of traffic, make sure you plan your meeting ahead of time. Always be early, five minutes early, 10 minutes early. Take the time to wait in the lobby if that's what it takes, but don't be late because the first impression matters and you don't want to be late to a meeting. Second one is the dress code. Don't get me wrong. This depends on the industry you're in. But in fact, people always tell me and people always say that you should be wearing a suit, you know, during meeting and during any kind of interaction with potential clients. Do everyone care about you wearing a suit? Probably not. In fact, statistics shows that 75% of people don't care. And that's the mistake that I've also made in the past. I used to show up to meeting wearing polos, wearing t-shirts, wearing shirts without a suit. And the problem here is that, as I said previously, 75% of the people don't care. They will not judge you anyway. That's fine. But what about the remaining 25%? Why do you want to miss out on this 25% of potential clients that do care about the way you look, that do care about what you're wearing? Why do you want to miss out on them? Might as well wear a suit. Make sure that you look sharp and make sure that you fit with 100% of the potential clients that you're meeting. Don't miss out on 25% when you can be aiming for 100%. And this is why dress code is important because a picture tells a thousand words and this is the same um, thing that is applied here. The third one is be yourself. I've seen this too many times where you know during meeting people are not, the, uh, are not themselves meaning that they try to pretend to be someone else, they talk a different way, they, they have a new attitude you know with, with, with client and this is really bad because you know in my understanding people or potential clients will never buy your products. They will never buy your, your services. They will buy you as a person. Let's look at us as an example. We are digital agencies. How many digital agencies are out there? Hundreds of thousands, if not more. So people don't come to us and don't work with us because of what we provide in terms of services, but they come to us because of the people. So always make sure that you're yourself. Don't pretend to be someone else because people or potential clients will like you because of who you are, not because of who you're pretending to be. Always be yourself. Fourth one, which has to do with the third point as well, is smile. Smiling is an important uh, aspect in business because the concept behind is that any business out there or any entrepreneurs out there they want to work with happy people. They want to work with positive people because being happy, smiling, being in a, in a positive mood will always sell. So make sure that you invest a lot on smiling. When you enter the meeting, smile. Always be positive, be excited about your job. Show them that you love what you do and you're excited about your industry. And if you do that, you will sell more because happy people sell more. It's just the, the way it works. Companies want to work with happy people. Companies wants to work with 
positive people. It is the way. That, that is the way. The fourth one, which is my personal favorite, is small talk. What I mean by small talk is when you have a meeting with a potential client, always take the time to have a two, three, four minutes small talk before starting the meeting. Why do we do this? It's just to, first of all, start with a good impression, and second, to feel comfortable with the meeting. Because I've had so many times meetings where you enter the room and you're meeting four, five, six board of directors, and the first feeling that goes through your heart is that, I'm nervous, I'm shy. You know, you're meeting four, five, six influential people, they're in front of me and now I have to sell my services. It's difficult, I don't feel comfortable. But if you come in the meeting and before anything, before introducing your company, before talking about your services, you crack a small talk, you crack a joke, you ask them anything about their day, about the weather, about their business, just anything that has nothing to do with what you will discuss eventually, but just that creates a good atmosphere and makes both parties feel comfortable. And as soon as both parties feel comfortable because you had this initial small talk, the whole meeting will be a success. This has been proven for me and this has been proven um, you know, uh, with, with many entrepreneurs. The last one is that you need to make sure, I made a mistake here, you need to make sure to have the knowledge of your industry. You don't want to get to a point where you show up to a meeting and you don't know your product inside out. You don't know your services inside out. You don't know your industry inside out because knowledge sells. Because if, if you have knowledge of your product services or your industry, you look credible. If you look credible, you sell more. It's just the way it is. Companies nowadays want to work with professional people that have the knowledge, are credible, know what they talk about, know the industry, because that's what they're willing to pay for. And this is what sets you apart from your competitors. This is one thing that will set you apart from your competitors. If you have the knowledge, you know what you're selling, you know your industry, you will sell more. And you don't want to get to a point where you are in a meeting and the client start asking questions about your product, specific questions, or specific questions about your industry, or maybe it's just asking for some advice, and you cannot give it to them because you don't have the knowledge. You, want to get, you don't want to get to the point where you have to tell them, you know what, I'm going to get back to my team and I'll get back to you tomorrow. No, that's a killer in business. If you know your business, if you know your industry, you will sell more because you will look credible in the eyes of the potential client that you're having a meeting with. So anyway, these are the six ways that I wanted to cover today. Um, I hope that this will help you in business and we will see you in two weeks.